All right, John, just tell us how you're feeling. Obviously, 59 seconds, a complete 180 from your last time here in Canada. Uh, you know what? I feel great right now. Um, it's exciting to come out and put a good show on and um, do well. Um, and it's always good to win. Uh, it's a little bittersweet just because Pat and I are such good friends. Uh, but, you know, it's our job, and one of us has to win. So. What'd you guys, you guys uh, seem to be, share a moment there at the end. What would you say to each other there? No, I, it was still the bittersweet moment. I mean, it, we're both happy for you. Know, he was happy for me, and it just it's hard to be happy and still, you know, beat your friend up. <laughs> well, I think everyone saw this one on paper and thought this is probably not going more than one round. That one was pretty quick. Is that what you expected? Absolutely. I really did think that Pat and I, you know, stylistically, Pat and I come out and we, we throw bombs at each other and we come out and fight, you know, typically. So, uh, yeah, I didn't figure, you know, we'd stay up too long. One of, one of us, wait, one, either way, one of us was going to go down, I think. Was that the idea that come in and you were going to test your striking or was it, you know, to, to take that away from Pat? And put him down and don't go. You know what? Uh, for this fight, I was really, really was just thinking, you know, come in and compete and, you know, see, see how it play, played out a little bit. Um, I know I have other tools I could use. Um, but yeah, uh, it was just kind of come in and, and use what he gave me, I guess. Did you feel uh, his power at any point? Did you feel worried about, uh, hey, I, I don't want to stand there in, in front of this guy too long? Absolutely. I mean, those first couple of kicks he threw were pretty, pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, he has a lot of power. He's a strong guy, and um, quick. He tried, you know, he tried to beat me to the punch on a few times, um, and then you know it kind of just turned, uh, turned the table, and I did the same to him. So, well, what makes the difference, you know, in this one as opposed to is it just the that heavyweights? Hey, anything can happen on on any given night, or what? From my last fight? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, do you feel like? Oh, or like the the Russo fighters, you know, like where you feel like, hey, uh, are you doing something differently uh, in training, or are you going out there and just uh, attacking when you see the opening more? Or? Uh, you know what? I think um, it's my fourth fight in the UFC. It's a big fight. Again, another big fight. Uh, I think I'm getting a little more um, comfortable with competing out in front of so many people, and uh, I respect it more. Uh, when I came, you know, like the Czech Congo fight, for you know, example. Uh, I came out and I kind of froze up and uh, yeah, I just stood there. I couldn't. I, I kind of froze. I didn't know what to do. Uh, so now I just you know I'm training. You know same same stuff. I train hard. I'm ready for fights. Uh, I think I'm just getting more comfortable and you know I'm implementing the game plans they give me. So where do you feel like this puts you in the heavyweight division? I mean, we've heard before where guys say, hey, a, a six foot tall heavyweight is going to face some problems. But then you look at you know guys like Cain Velasquez. It seems like it's been proven at this point that. You know the the smaller, more athletic heavyweights can succeed here. Where do you feel like you are now? Uh, you know what, a win's a win, uh, and every time you any time you can win in the UFC is is, is great. Uh, as far as where I'm at in the division, uh, that's not really for me to say. That's up for you know that's uh, up for Joe and them. Uh, and you know they take care of me. They put me in here and they let me compete. So uh, wherever I just like to, as long as I'm winning, that's always good. I want to talk a little football with you. Gary Croton, your offensive coordinator at mm -hmm. LSU, is the offensive coordinator of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers here. What mm -hmm. can you tell us about him as a coach and your time spent uh, playing for him? Oh, Gary is awesome. Gary, uh, coach Croton was uh, just just an amazing person to be around. Uh, I don't think I ever heard him cuss. He's just just a great, great guy. And um, you know, you being a football player in America, you, you're used to seeing American coaches come in and insult you when you mess up. And you know, be pretty harsh on you, and you're used to that. And uh, Coach Croton come up, and you mess up, and he would come and talk to you. And it was like, hey, are you serious? Are you, are you joking? Or are you gonna chew me out in a second? Or yeah? But no, just just a great, great coach, and you're very knowledgeable. I don't know if he knows you were fighting here tonight, but uh, would you like to have him come out and see you do that, especially that in 59 seconds? <laughs> I would love for him to come see me and play, but uh, I mean fight. But I, I don't really think this is his bag. Uh, <laughs> He's a little more calm, and he doesn't even cuss, so I don't know if he wants to see people get beat up. Doing well, obviously, in the UFC. What, uh, what made you get into it after your football career was over? Uh, you know what? My buddy Trey Bill is actually here with me today. He, uh, he kind of asked me right after I got you know, finished with football, you want to try this fight? And I was like, yeah, man, let's go try it. And I kind of just got stuck. You know, I, I kind of just stuck. So, And I enjoy it now, and it's fun. So I just let's stay doing it. Gary might call you to play a little fullback here when you're fighting. <laughs> hey, absolutely. I love football. It's my first love, and I miss it. So, thanks. Yeah. Congrats. Absolutely, guys. Thanks. Thank you.